Ever wonder how trout sense things under various types of water? In clear water, a trout's world looks simple, light, movement, and color, but trout feed just as effectively in murky currents or near darkness. They aren't seeing the world so much as feeling it. This hidden ability comes from one of the most advanced sensory systems in the animal kingdom, the lateral line. What the lateral line is, running from the gill cover to the tail, the lateral line appears as a faint dotted line on each side of the trout's body. Beneath each dot are tiny structures called neuromasts, clusters of hair-like cells suspended in a gel. When water moves past, even by a fraction of a millimeter, these hairs bend. That movement creates nerve signals that travel directly to the trout's brain. It's a real-time pressure map that updates dozens of times per second. For a trout, this sense is as reliable as vision or hearing, just tuned to vibration instead of light or sound. How it works in moving water. In a river, everything vibrates. Stones, plants, insects, and passing fish. Trout use their lateral line to read that constant pattern of pulses. Steady vibrations like flowing current fade into background noise but sudden changes such as the flutter of a wounded minnow or fallen insect stand out instantly. This is how a trout can pinpoint food in cloudy runoff or after sunset. Each flick of a fin, each swirl in the current creates a signal the trout can interpret. It's three-dimensional awareness, invisible to us but crystal clear to them. Experiments and evidence. Scientists have tested this sense by temporarily disabling the lateral line using a mild anesthetic. When the system is blocked, trout still see normally, but their feed inaccuracy drops sharply. They often miss prey that's only a few inches away. In darkness, trout with an active lateral line still hunt effectively. Those without it become disoriented, drifting with the current instead of holding position. This shows how the lateral line contributes not just to feeding, but also to balance and orientation. It functions as a full body motion detector, shared across fish species. The lateral line isn't unique to trout. Almost every fish species has one, from catfish to sharks. But trout rely on it more than most because of the fast moving, light changing waters they inhabit. Even subtle vibrations like a caddis larva wriggling beneath a stone can be enough to trigger curiosity or caution. It's the trout's way of seeing the invisible. What it means for anglers. Understanding the lateral line explains why some fishing methods work better than others. In low visibility water, a lure's vibration pattern matters far more than its color. Spinner blades, rattling plugs, and soft plastics that thump send strong signals directly to that sensory system. Fly anglers can use this too. Streamers with pulsing hackle or articulated joints mimic the uneven vibration of struggling prey. Retrieve style also matters. A perfectly steady retrieve can blend into background noise, while a sudden pause or twitch stands out as something alive. An excessive surface noise or splashing can overwhelm a trout senses. A quiet approach keeps their world calm and natural. The hidden world of sensation. The trout's lateral line is its sixth sense, a network of vibration detectors that reveals an underwater world we can't see. When light fades or water clouds, that hidden sense takes over completely. For anglers, that means one thing. Think less about what the trout sees and more about what it feels. Because to a trout, every ripple tells a story.